What's going on everyone? It's Marcellus back with another video and we have to talk about Dogecoin today and I have a prediction with Dogecoin on what we are going to do in the recent times coming. So what I believe we are going to do with Dogecoin looking at the price action here, I really do believe we are going to be at $1 before the end of this year. But honestly, it will be at $1 in the next two months. This is what I'm setting it at. And I'm, I'm standing on this. We are going to be a dollar within the next two months. I want to say one month, but I don't want to get it wrong. And then you guys just, you know, start hating on me. So I'm just going to give it two months. And I know we're going to do a dollar in two months. So let's talk about why this is such a big deal and why I believe we're going to really hit a dollar within two months, right? So let's go over here to our one year chart. So as we can see, all this growth in one year that we had from Doge, look at all of this growth. It was all the way down here at point. It was all the way down here at 0 0.006 around the you know beginning of this year, around January. And now we look at it and we're at 68 cents. So if you think about it, we we already 100 X already. Like we already shot to the moon. Like we're going to Mars at this point. And if you look at the current growth rate for Doge, you can kind of see that we always have these spikes every month like every month we get a huge spike and then we get consolidation we get a huge spike and then we get consolidation and right now this is our consolidation period so we're going into a new month here we're into may we're going uh into june so that is going to be another june is going to be a huge month and when i say two months i'm talking about june and july like may we already had our growth and we need to consolidate for may so after we consolidate for this month and we're not going to consolidate for the whole month obviously we're going to get another jump but you best believe that we're going to actually dip back down to our long-term trend line after we jump but yeah through may we are going to consolidate and then in june we are going to have a huge jump and the same thing in july and then august to september november december all of that that's going to be like the crypto red season like i really believe august to december like crypto is going to be in the red like yeah we're going to have up days but we're gonna you know every time we always have these red days inside crypto we always have this every year and they call it the um i forgot what they call it but they have a specific word for it uh i know like how they have altcoin season they also have the uh the red season i forgot what they call it but yeah that's what we're looking at there and we're definitely going to be at one dollar by july and we may lose some market cap but yeah that's kind of that's how we're going to look at it going from july into august obviously yeah we'll lose some market cap because august may just be a red a uh, red month because we've been having so much growth here but yeah we're shooting straight for a dollar right now and as you can see we just now broke our short-term trend line here and as you can see we broke our short-term our, our long-term trend line all the way back here so doge is a fan of breaking trend lines right now and honestly these trend lines that we break we need to break them because we need to come back down to the long-term one so now that we just broke that trend line that short-term trend line now we're setting our long-term our, our next short-term trend line so this is our next short-term trend line uh, yeah, we can definitely drop down back to 48 cents within the next day or two. We're going to drop right back down to 48 cents. And then from there, we'll keep going up. We're just going to keep setting higher lows and higher highs. So right now, our new low is going to be at 48 cents. We went all the way down here to 42 cents. But now we're about to uh, trace back down to 48 cents. And mind you, if Elon Musk tweets or something else happens between this time and tomorrow, we could go up and see more growth but eventually we are going to come back down to our long-term trend line so yeah right now we can see that we are going down so you can see it's doing some movement like this it could jump skyrocket and then you know come back down and then you know that's just how it goes and then skyrocket again and then come back to this trend line so then we come back to this trend line and re-meet it and then go keep on going from there so this is my prediction with those on what we are doing with those in the long term in the long term we are definitely going to get to higher amounts you know i definitely believe doge can reach ten dollars long term when i say long term i mean like five years like doge ten dollars five years no doubt that's gonna happen but one year we're gonna see huge growth with doge honestly next uh month right now we are gonna see a lot of more growth here with doge but honestly right look right here uh let's let me clear this because this is a lot of stuff right here i don't want you to get confused here let's clear all these lines all right clear all that all right so as we follow this uh short-term trend line down here you can see like this right here is where elon musk tweeted and now we're coming back down i talked about this in my last video but honestly i think elon musk is going to tweet again and again and again because his tweets are actually starting to hold i don't want to say hold less weight 
but his tweets are starting to become normal like his like doge tweets used to not be too normal for from elon he would do it every now and then but now he's kind of talking about doge every single day look at this he had a petition on here for doge yep i signed up for that and then you know he had saturday night live and it's like every day or every other day he's coming out with something else about doge and this is gonna help us continue to rise here with dogecoin so that is a really big catalyst that we have elon musk is like our biggest doge supporter right now and uh let's go and see what we have here with our whales because these whales have been doing a lot of activity here hundreds of millions of dollars just sold every single day and these whales are what we need we need these whales to sell so then elon musk can be more in on dogecoin i really feel like that's why he's starting to be like more bigger on dogecoin right now because he's seeing that all the whales are starting to sell out so look not all the whales are selling out mind you that but look this whale had 219 million dollars into dogecoin like or i mean he sold 219 million dollars worth of dogecoin so that is a lot of money that he sold right there in dogecoin uh let's continue to look over here inside of uh our market cap here um yeah here it is market cap so let's go over here to our market cap our 15 hour our 24 hour trading volume is 15 billion dollars and then our market cap is at 65 billion so we're actually doing good compared to where we were we dropped down really low with doge all the way down to 40 but as you can see here we are back number five we have to pass xrp again and xrp is always going down honestly i think xr xrp i think they also have this a uh, lot of stuff going on or yeah xrp doesn't matter right now so we really don't have to look at that but i do believe that they are going to go down in price because they have this lawsuit and i mean it could go down or it could go up but either way we're going to pass it in market cap and be number four and eventually we will be number three in market cap once we hit one dollar we'll be at 129 billion market cap and why i believe that will go to one dollar let's read this here almost a fifth of all us dollars were created this year and mind you with doge five billion doge is made every single year so every single year five billion doge is added into the circulation right now the circulation is at 129 billion so next year we will be at 134 billion and then so on and if you look at this almost a fifth of all us dollars we created this year that means that we have way more market way more market cap to invest inside of different things so you're going to see a lot more market cap being poured into everything like doge bitcoin all that but remember that this was old you know this was back in the uh you know last year while all the stimulus was printed out we got all that money we got some stimulus this year too but yeah this was all because of the stimulus so all that money is being redistributed now the people are putting it into cryptos and then the whales are you know buying and selling the whales are taking some of that money and then they're putting it right back in as their own so we're seeing a lot of different people putting money in and taking it out and profiting it off of other people's losses and this is kind of a big thing for doge because that's how doge actually grows like people put money in and then when it jumps other people take out and then it drops and then people put money back in and then it jumps and then it's just a constant cycle of money flowing between different people's accounts and that's really the basis of crypto how crypto works you know when you put your money into dogecoin dogecoin has 65 billion market cap and all of our money makes up that market cap so when a whale comes in and they bump up the price and take it out they're taking some of that market cap all right so about 20 percent of all us dollars we created this year the federal reserve has printed unprecedented amounts of money to support corona but look at this data from the fed shows that a broad measure of the stock of dollars known as m2 rose to 15.34 trillion dollars at the start so we have a lot of money uh, flowing inside of the economy not just in us dollars but inside of other economies so if you look at this china invests in dogecoin you can actually see that it's actually a thing where china is investing like chinese traders are investing in dogecoin and shiba but a lot of them are putting more money into shiba because shiba is more cheaper but see shiba and dogecoin are like one in the same so the more chinese people that put money into shiba and then they learn about they also see dogecoin and now they want to invest in dogecoin too so shiba is blowing up over there inside china so you can bet doge is doing some good things too and i know it says known as the doge killer but come on now shiba is not going to overthrow doge they just have too much uh circulating supply it's not going to happen i like shiba but shiba is um it's they're kind of copying doge and it's cool to see because i definitely think shiba is also going to rise with doge but yeah 
I do believe Dogecoin is going to remove the one dollar in two months by July. I'm setting it right now, one dollar by July. We will definitely get that. We're already halfway there. We're at fifty cents, so I don't see why we can't get one dollar by to July. And the way things are looking, we will definitely hit that. So this is our last six months, and uh, let's go over here and do a full year view. So if July is right here, right, and let's draw our trend line. So as we can see, this right here is our long term trend line and you can see how steep our long term trend line is. Imagine this long term trend line continues to rise. We would be at a dollar way before or not way before, but, you know, right before July, we would be reaching a dollar. And I can't even go that high on this chart. But as you can see, this is a steep long term trend line, a really steep trend line here. So honestly, inside of June, we will see 70. 80 cents and then leading into july that's when we're going to touch a dollar finally so that is going to be really good and definitely do believe that's going to happen and you can see the trend line like we've been following this trend line for a minute here like this isn't just some trend line that i set you know the other day just to show just to make a point this is a trend line that i actually set back inside of april so i've been set this trend line like i see i noticed these three patterns here and then that's when i set the trend line and i'm like all right we're following this trend line to a t so that's exactly what we're doing right now. Remember, these trend lines can be broken. And we've been following this trend line for a very long time. Look at this. We've been following this trend line. Like this trend line did not just come overnight. We've been following this trend line, but I first set the trend line around April 23rd. That's just what I wanted to mention. But we have been following it for a while. And I kind of expected it to do, you know, some some kind of growth like this. Uh look at how long term this is. So let me go ahead and go back here to the smaller chart just looking at the day here so just looking at the day and looking at our trend line i kind of messed it up but we know that it's going to continue to go up and let me just go ahead and fix this trend line here remove those and then just draw it again so yeah that is what we are looking at here so yeah by july if we, if we continue to follow this trend line remember that if we continue to follow this trend line the long-term trend line then we will be at one dollar by july but if something happens inside of the current market, like cryptos crash, all stocks crash, because you see that stocks are actually crashing right now. So if all stocks continue to crash and crypto continues, you know, to crash, but crypto is actually doing good today, we could actually see something where everything goes down. So that is only if something big happens where they regulate crypto to a point where it's uninvestable. Or I don't even think that's a word, but to where you can't invest inside of crypto. Like if they regulated it that much, we would see a huge dip in Doge. But I don't believe we're going to see, uh, see that because we are, we are actually having huge investors. You know, let's look up institutional investors. Cryptocurrency. So it's actually been a big thing where institutional investors have been investing inside of cryptocurrency. And these are the whales that we're seeing every single day. So institutional investors are behind ethereum surge above four thousand dollars like this is what i'm talking about like they're putting these whales are putting so much money into these cryptos and making it shoot up and they're not they're not pulling the rug out like like you know like uh with the saturday night live thing yes they pulled the rug out there but right now they're not pulling the rug out like like huge like they're not taking everything out they're only selling a small portion so they can make profits and keep profits but they're not really pulling the rug out on everyone where you see everything go down by like 50 to 100 percent like that's not happening like you can see like where we are like we we did go up to 70 cents but we didn't go all the way down to 20 cents like we didn't do that we just went all the way down here to 40 and then we jumped right back up so the whales aren't selling out completely and uh remember i'm not a financial advisor it's not financial advice you just do your own due diligence do your own research and find out what is a what is the best investment strategy for you but honestly, for me, I'm investing for the long term. So I really do believe Doge is about to hit one dollar because when you really want when you really think about it, one hundred and twenty nine billion dollar market cap. That's nothing for Doge to hit one hundred twenty nine billion dollar market cap is nothing like with the amount of money that has been printed in just the U.S. economy. We're not thinking about China. We're not thinking about Russia. We're not thinking about all these other countries. We're just thinking about the United States and how much money we printed. But then when you start to think about the, how much money everybody, everybody else is printing and how much money they're putting inside the market, then you kind of see the, the wide spectrum here. You kind of see, like, let's say if in China, they invest 100 billion of their dollars and then U.S., 
our people invest 100 billion dollars and then you know and then you start have everyone to invest you have russia investing inside of cryptos you have all these other countries happening in on crypto so when you have all these countries coming together and putting their dollars and their market cap towards crypto when they put their currency inside of crypto that's gonna distribute wealth throughout every single country throughout every person in all those countries so we're gonna see a huge distribution in wealth here we're gonna be we're gonna see new millionaires we're gonna see new billionaires popping out the woodworks out of everywhere this is gonna be all over the place so yeah we're definitely gonna continue to do crazy numbers here but yeah dogecoin is definitely going to the moon and yeah remember i'm not a financial advisor it's not financial advice but if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, and check out the link in the description for a free stock with Robinhood and Webull and Crypto.com. And I'll be back with another video. Peace.